Good morning, folks. We've got an update on the Earth-facing solar quiet, some awesome visuals, some science updates, and the Earth's rotation changing yet again. We are starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on the sun was pretty quiet. Minor filament motions, coronal pops as sunspots decay. And the top watch at the moment is for the northern coronal hole you see turning through up there. It is the top watch mostly because the sunspots are providing less of a concern. The Earth-facing quiet has stomped out these spots, which released the massive CMEs on the far side last week. And while we'll continue to monitor those active regions for redevelopment, the next sunspot we're eyeing is going to come over the limb into view on the north later tonight. Heading off to the science stories and starting with aesthetics, we're using new radio technology here to peer through the brightness of a star and find not only its planet-forming disk, but a moon-forming disk around one of the planets, creating a gap in that disk basically modeling it as a hot Jupiter, putting together its first director set as it tries out this universe and its toys. More eye candy up next, as that same radio scoping takes on the Milky Way central zone at the midplane. Numerous new features identified and characterized, but also in this radio wavelength, those arc streaks are not appearing, something seen and something missed with every change on the wavelength scale. Three stories from the Royal Astronomical Society up next, and the first one is a look at mountains on neutron stars. Sort of. Their models say across the entire sphere, there should be these micro-mountain ranges, millimeter range. Cool, imaginative, and utterly theoretical. And the same goes for the model of the solar fields twisting up and helping to allow space weather unfold. They're attempting to try to model the sub-visible activity, so that it matches the activity when the sunspot is born at the photosphere and we can actually see the fields. Lastly, out of RAS, Captain Obvious got a hold of their keyboards and confirms for all the school children out there that yes, someday many eons from now, the sun may balloon up into a red dwarf, swallow the earth, and when this happens, no, our magnetic fields won't protect us anymore while we're inside of a star. Thank you, Captain. Mars update next where they are confirming interior properties of the red planet by listening to the echoes of its seismic activity. But veteran observers recall that they had been detecting a surge in that seismicity, and the scientists couldn't explain why. Now, folks, it's up to the discovery of those little quakes every single day, to the point where they're now waiting for a big one on Mars. Big is relative, about magnitude 4, but still, that seismicity on Mars that we have covered and diagnosed is not slowing down confirmed. And last but not least, folks, we have seen them track major speedups in Earth's rotation and then knock the data back off the charts. It may be starting again now. They are taking us shorter and shorter and faster and faster and walking it back by the day to now once over three milliseconds faster predicted for October 20th. We'll keep watching the progression and for a third stripping of the data this year, possibly coming in the coming days. We greatly appreciate your support. There's a lot about that Earth's rotation change, why it's happening and where it's heading in the disaster series listed in the description box right below the video. There may be one or two other things of interest in that series as well. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.